Hey, Dino, how's the road treating the boys? Yeah, I think, you know, we've had some really good experiences on the road. I thought that one had its challenges, just trying to get to New Plymouth and different things. But I thought we structured our road trip really well and, and broke it up a little bit while we were in transit in Wellington and did some things. And, um, yeah, you know, it's a... a it's a time about being away when people are injured and, you know, it's actually part of how good we've been the first half of the year when people have been down that others have really stood up and, um, you know, there was a number of people in that one. Our leaders really stood up, but then to see Ariel carry 32 minutes and uh, Tanner to continue the way he's been playing this third quarter of the season is fantastic. What do you look? Uh, what do you look like ahead of tomorrow night in terms of you know guys coming back? Uh, obviously, JLA will he be back with you? And it looks like Luke trained well, but he's got a fair bit of strapping on that leg. Yeah, no, I think we'll. It looks like we'll go into this game with exactly the same lineup as we had um, against New Zealand, and you know a couple of those guys you spoke about are pretty close. Shay and Joe are pretty close to you know being back with us, but um, probably not right for this one. You mentioned Shay, and he's obviously had his concussion issues. Um, did you see the Doolittle incident with Perth and how long he was on the court? And what did you make of that, given the experience that you and United have had with concussion? Yeah, obviously, you know, Pete Hawley was all over it, uh, you know, during the, the telecast. And, um, you know, I got a chance to speak to, to Vince uh, yesterday and just kind of, hey, it's still a, a work on for us to make sure that we uh, take care of our players and, and make sure that if there's knowledge or um, an assessment from outside that someone might not be right about how we um, you know, stop the game and just check on people a little bit better. Is it, do you think the NBL needs to strengthen its policies on it? Is the six day GRP enough or should there be a mandatory stand down period? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not totally sure about that one. You know, we've, I think we've been conservative and um, making sure people, when they're, they're symptom free, and then there's a period of time about after they're symptom free that we want people to make sure that they um, get back from. So, um, yeah, each club's probably going to do it a little bit different, but I, I think we just got to, we've just seen too many over the last few years that we've just got to make sure in game that we, we, that we do the right thing. What sort of challenge do the Jack Jumpers pose? Um, you seem to have success when you're away more than at home when you play against them. <laughs> yeah, no, we got a good win down there this year, so it's nice to walk back into a building that we played really well. And I thought, um, you know, we had a bunch of things happen in that game as well. Um, you know, I think Shay fouled out and um, Ian might have fouled out or had his injury in that game as well. And so we had we had different lineups. Delhi didn't play. So, you know, we go in there um, probably in a similar kind of lineup than we that we had last time. And... Um, you know, Joe was phenomenal last time and we'll, we'll miss his presence, but um, what do they pose? Obviously, they're two guards, um, you know, when they're scoring and up and about and Crawford and Doyle and, and shooting the three ball. And so how well, how tough can we get connected to them and um, hopefully, you know, drive them down to, to Ariel and, and, and make them make tough shots in the paint if we can. But, um, you know, more probably about, you know, the disruption up the floor about the pressure that they put on you to get started in your offense and you know do you attack that straight away or do you let the basketball move and i think there's some of the decisions um that our guards will have to make what's uh talk a bit about the importance of pride round this week yeah obviously you know for me it's it's all about what my experience with isaac and and you know seeing um him get comfortable enough to you know present his case and and for other kids who are struggling with that to um, to understand that you know we do celebrate it as a sport um, and for them you know not to be fearful and, and for basketball to be a safe space.